Hey, welcome. DipJoy is a tool that helps developers build React apps really fast. Instead of setting up a code base from scratch and integrating all the various services you need, DipJoy generates an entire code base and UI for you. You can use it for everything from simple landing pages to entire SaaS applications. So step one, choose your stack. This is the default stack that DivJoy gives you. You have Material UI, Firebase Auth, Stripe Payments, and a bunch of other options. And you can actually customize these options. So if you prefer Bootstrap, you can just switch over to it. If you prefer Next.js, um, you can use Next.js and basically select um, the exact stack you want and that you'd like to work with when you export your code. So let's go on to the next step here, choosing our template. DivJoy gives you two fully pre-built templates that have all the, the marketing pages you need, um, authentication, pricing, forms, account settings, pretty much everything you need for an ambitious app where you want users to be able to authenticate um, and interact with live data. And the coolest part is you can actually preview your app right inside DivJoy and interact with it while you're testing it out and um, even customizing the look and feel of your app before export. So let's pick our Joy template here. Great, and here is our React app. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go through the entire, entire sign-up flow. I'm gonna choose a plan. I'm actually gonna pay via Stripe checkout and then visit the dashboard page just to show you that you can pretty much interact with every aspect of your app while previewing it in the DivJoy editor. Okay, so let's get started here. We'll pick a plan. How about the starter plan? So it wants us to create an account. So here we go. And you noticed all the validation and error states are fully functional. So let me enter the correct password. Uh, and there we go. Oh, email accounts already in use. Um, so let's just try a unique email here. And now it's time to pay. So this is the, the hosted Stripe checkout page that we integrate with. So I'm just gonna paste in my test credit card number here um, and some fake info. And then start my trial. All right, we're signed up for the starter plan and we're now looking at our dashboard page. After exporting your code base, this is where you'd likely build out your custom features. To make your life easier though, we include this example UI that can read and write to your database. So let's try it out. Let's add an item. How about DivJoy is cool? And there we go. That just wrote this data to the database and displayed it and re-rendered the component as a result. Um, so we can update as well. Um, DivJoy is cool, maybe. You can tell me whether you think it's cool. Um, update the item, we can star it. Oh wait, we can't star it because it turns out that we need a higher plan to do that. So this is another example we include of how to uh, get the user's current plan and then take any action after that. So you can see in the code how we do this. It's pretty simple, um, but it's super useful. It makes it really easy to have certain features that are only exposed to certain users. So let's upgrade our plan so that we have access to this um, breathtakingly amazing star feature that we have here. So I'm gonna go over to settings and see we have some general settings. Like, let me add a name real quick here. Updated my name, change password, but we wanna go over to billing to change our plan. So now we're on Stripe's hosted billing portal page that DivJoy integrates with. Um, so we can just change our plan right here. Let's move up to the pro plan. All right. Cool, plan's updated. 
Let's go back to our app. Okay, and then back to our dashboard page. All right, so we have the pro plan now. Um, and let's see if this works. Amazing, right? So like I said, this is just a simple example um, UI of, and that shows how to interact with your database, um, read, write, update, delete data. Um, as you build out your custom features, you may want to build on this, uh, or if you're building a very different kind of component altogether, you may just want to use this as a reference, uh, and it should speed up your development process quite a bit. And so that's the main functionality that DivJoy gives you. There's a ton of other small details. Um, let's see, like we have full dark mode here. All components look good in dark mode. We can go to the home page and scroll around. Um, so all these section components are fully responsive and are designed to always look good in both light and dark mode. And then what else? We have a lot of the common static pages you'd want on your site. Um, so FAQ, contact page, with forms, Let's see, an about page with some stats and showing off my team here. So instead of building all this stuff, um, which honestly can end up taking up weeks of your time, you get to move right to building your actual product's core features. Okay, so just one more thing here that I want to show you. You may be wondering what all this stuff to the left is. So this is the DivJoy editor, and you can actually customize your app using this editor. The main benefit to this is that we have a whole visual library of pre-built components that you can drag right into your project before then exporting your code. So let me just show you a quick example here. So we're on the About page. Let me see if there is a better version of the, the team cards. Um, yeah, so we have a couple options here. So let me expand the About page here. Let's try dragging in this one. Nice. Um, you know, my fake team is pretty photogenic, so I think these high-res cards will do just fine. And then we will delete the old one. And of course, there's a bunch of other components in the library. You can go check them out yourself, um, see what's available. And I'm going to be expanding the selection in the coming months. So there's a bunch of different variations of each of the kinds of components, from nav bars to um, full dynamic interactive live data components. Okay, so I'm happy with what I have, and I'm thinking I want to move to code now and actually start working on my custom features. So let me go up here and just click Export Code, and then I can download it to my machine, or if I want, I can pop it open in Code Sandbox just to check it out real quick. And in either case, my code base will include a README file that includes everything I need to know to run it locally and later on deploy it to my host. And everything I've shown you so far, you can actually try out without even signing up for DivJoy. So head over to the home page um, and poke around. And for the next 24 hours, we're going to be running a special product hunt deal where you get lifetime access for DivJoy for 89 bucks. You can use it for as many projects as you want forever. So if you like what you see here and you want to grab the deal, go for it. There's some other stuff here worth checking out, um, you know some testimonials. Uh, we have a showcase of all the awesome things that uh, DivJoy customers have been building. Um, we have a link out to our private Discord community. So once you pay, you'll get access to the Discord community. We're going to be doing a bunch of fun stuff, uh, like monthly hackathons. We also have some more in-depth docs here, a change log so you can see everything I've been rolling out over the last six months, um, a roadmap so you can see where we're headed, what kind of features we're considering. And, um, and yeah, that's it. Uh, so there's one more thing I want to show you. This is my Apple one more thing moment here. Probably the most important feature that we offer on DivJoy. So if you scroll up here and you click this little spinning icon, yeah, cats uh, with heart eyes confetti down the screen. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. And I'm really proud of it. You can click it a bunch of times. Um, it's fun and cathartic. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, that's it. And also, if you want to check out the Product Hunt launch page, just click that button on the top. Um, I'd love to hear what you think. If you have any questions, uh, you know, you love the product, you hate the product, whatever it is, drop a comment there. I'll be there all day answering questions um, and chatting with you guys.